cataractcoach.com. Torque guidance system gets confused. You have to always trust your judgment more than your machines. Here's the beginning of the case. Now, in all fairness, look at the two ink marks on the cornea. Those are supposed to be at the 180 meridian. They're not 180 apart. So already something's a little bit funny there. Now, the surgeon here has inked the blade so that when the paresthesis is made, it's easy to identify where the paresthesis is. That's a move that's done often by young residents who are learning to operate. Okay. Problem is, this machine is going to use those blue ink marks as guidance for where the 180 is. And then it's going to tell you how to put the toric lens in. And so you can see now there are three ink marks on the cornea. And so the machine's going to become confused. And so you've got to take your judgment into account. Let's go to the end of the case here, putting the lens in. I want to tell you about high res. If you have a microscope that's putting out 720p, that is not high definition. That is 1280 by 720 pixels. That is less than one megapixel, 0.9 megapixels. The bare minimum that you would watch on your television at home is 1080p, which is 2.1 megapixels. And you'd prefer to see something higher depth. Your mobile phone has a 4K camera, which is even much more resolution than this. So if you have a microscope that only puts out 720p video, you got to fix that. Change your settings, upgrade it, or if you're stuck and you got in a situation like me, you got to make some other arrangements. Now look carefully here. Look at that there. And you can see the machine is reading the para and the nasal mark as the 180, and that's not the 180. Therefore, it's showing you those three blue lines of where the intended axis is, and those are not correct. So it's important to be able to figure this out ahead of time and say, wait a minute, let me use some common sense here. What is actually what? Now the machine alternates back and forth between the two. And you'll see you need to just cover up with a sponge or something, block the ink mark from the paracentesis in order to get this lens guidance system back on track. So, okay, good job removing the viscoelastic. But again, even with the guidance system, I think your purple ink marks were not 180 apart. And so I question whether or not this is going to be accurate at all. But you can see how the machine just keeps getting confused and doesn't know which one to do as the 180 mark, whether it's the paracentesis ink mark or the other ink mark there at the bottom of your screen. Yeah, believe it or not, there are microscope manufacturers out there who will give you a blurry video like this in 720p and try to sell it to you as high definition. You need to avoid that situation. So before you purchase any microscope, stop, 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 and make sure that it actually outputs 1080p video. And by the way, you can buy a 1080p uh, camera on, on Amazon for like 20 US dollars. So there you go. Now you can see you need to, that, that's not enough. The, the chopper is not blocking it enough. Get a Wexel sponge and block that completely. Because see now, when you block it with the Wexel sponge, now the machine says, okay, that's the other 180 mark, and it changes the axis, and now you can have a more accurate axis. But even then, again, I think those blue marks that were initially placed at the beginning of the case before the paracentesis, those were not 180 apart. And so again, the machines can be confused. I've shown this same machine that confused and showed me a guidance system for a Rexes that turned out to be completely wrong. And that's an old video which I can link below. This is, again, you need to ch trust your surgical judgment. As good as the machines get, that's fantastic. I like it. The more technology, the better. But even when you fly on an airplane to go see your grandma and the pilot uses autopilot on that airplane, you just hope that he or she also uses his or her judgment more. Because while the machines are good... Nothing's as good as surgical judgment. Remember, cataract surgery takes many years to learn and a lifetime to master. And the skill set and the surgical judgment you build is priceless. Trust it.